In this video, we're going to be looking at the law of supply. So the law of supply holds that if we hold all other things equal, or ceteris paribus, as the price of a good rises, its quantity supplied will rise. So the supply curve shifts, sorry, the supply curve slopes upwards. Supply is about willingness of producers to supply at different prices. And the higher the price, the more willing they are to supply. So at a price of $20 here, so at a price of $10, they're only willing to supply $20. At a price of $15, they're willing to supply $40. And as prices continue to rise, so does the quantity supplied. Why does the supply curve sh slope upwards? Well, basically, producers want to seek make as much profit as possible. They want to make as high a revenue as possible and as high a profit as possible. They act in their own self-interest. So what happens is a higher price acts as an incentive to supply resources to the market. So for example, if we're selling, if we can use our land for either strawberries or raspberries, if the price of raspberries increases, that acts as an incentive to shift our resources into the supply of raspberries because of the higher price. So the higher price is an incentive for producers because one, they're gonna make more profits, and two, they're able to cover their marginal costs of production. And what I mean by that is, say it's costing you $2 per unit of production, and then that's that two two dollars per unit of production. If we're selling things at if we are selling things at a price of a dollar, then we're not going to be able to cover our marginal cost of production. But as the price rises, we're able to suddenly cover those costs. We're able to sell at a higher price than what it's costing us to make the product, and therefore we're able. It's more of an incentive for businesses to increase supply. It also increases the opportunity cost of using resources to supply anything else because we're making so much money supplying this product it's going to be at a higher opportunity cost if we decide to shift our resource into any other alternative. So the law of supply, the higher the price, the more of an incentive to produce because self-interested producers are going to shift their resources into production of that good or service. Expansion and contraction in supply, it also be referred to as an extension, but we generally refer to it as an expansion in VCE economics, is a movement up the curve or a movement to the right. The higher the price causes an expansion in supply due to the increased profits available. A contraction in supply will be caused by a lower price because businesses will shift resources out of the market due to the lower profit opportunities. Okay, so extension always moving along the curve to the right, contraction to the left. It's a change in price and only a change in price of the good itself that's going to cause a contraction or an expansion, nothing else. So here's an example from CDs, and you can see that as the price of CDs moves from $10 to $15, we get an expansion along the supply curve. The supply curve expands from 20,000 to 40,000 units. When prices fall, supply will normally contract. Shifts in the supply curve, shifts in the supply curve are caused by factors other than changes in price, and it's all about businesses' willingness and ability to produce. If firms are more willing to produce at any given price, at any given price, prices haven't changed, then that will cause a shift in the supply curve to the right. If businesses are less willing to supply at any given price or less able to supply at any given price, that will cause a shift in the supply curve to the left. We will only supply more once the price increases. Is an expansion in supply, so that is not, not talking about a shift. Okay, A shift is when something else changes besides the price that causes an increase in supply. Here are some things that will cause a shift in the supply curve. These are variables other than price that will cause us to supply more or less at any given price. And generally they're about cost of production or profitability. So if a firm has, for example, lower capital costs, so the machinery they're using in production is cheaper, they're able to make more profits from producing products and therefore there will be more incentive for them to produce. So if they have cheaper machinery, that will cause the supply curve to shift to the right. If their materials are cheaper, so if we're, again, if we're producing cheesecakes and the price of cheese goes down, well, every cheesecake that we're supplying, we're now making a higher profit. So there'll be more incentive to supply these cheesecakes to the market and supply will shift to the right. Productivity, if we come up with new technology that makes us more productive, we're able to supply more at any given price. Or if our workers become more productive, they can pick more apples, for example, that's going to increase supply at any given price. Improvements in technology, Changes in labour costs, so if labour costs go down, supply curve will shift to the right because businesses will be more profitable. If labour costs go up, then businesses will be less profitable and supply will shift to the left. 
Taxes are another example. Most taxes are levied on producers, which means that they will shift the supply curve as opposed to the demand curve. So a good example of that would be the carbon tax. The carbon tax is imposed on producers, which increase their cost of production and makes them less willing to produce because they make less profits. That would shift the supply curve to the left. And what would end up happening is we would get a higher price and therefore that would cause a contraction in demand, but it's actually going to shift the supply curve. Price of other products, so for example, if we're using the same resources to produce strawberries and raspberries and the price of raspberries goes down, then what might happen is there might be an expansion in, sorry, there may be a shift in the supply curve for strawberries because the substitute is now cheaper, there's less profits available in those industries, they may be more willing to supply strawberries. Climatic conditions is a really good example, so if there's a drought or a cyclone that will cause this, the supply curve to shift to the left because there is less ability to produce, there's less resources available. Um, if we have good climatic conditions, supply curve will generally shift to the right. And government subsidies, if governments subsidise industries, then that can make them more profitable, reduce their production costs and shift supply to the right. Just, well, if the demand curve shifts to the right, that does not mean the supply curve shifts as well. It's going to be likely to lead to an expansion in supply, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so a supply curve shifting means that we're more willing to supply at any given price. So at a price of $3, we were supplying about 70 units, now we're supplying about 100 units. If we're moving from the red to the blue. The main things that cause a change in supply, and it can be put into three main factors. One, the availability of resources. So if we have more resources available, more land, more labour, more capital, um, that will increase our ability to supply, and therefore the supply curve will shift to the right. If there's more competition in a market, so another competitor increase enters the market, that's going to increase the supply at any given price as well, because more people are producing the product. The cost of resources, so anything that's going to increase our profit margins, um, will increase our willingness to produce. Um, so if labour costs, cost of materials, imported products, if any of these are cheaper, supply curve will shift to the right because it will be more profitable to produce in this industry. And the last thing, price of other products that use similar resources. So again, using my raspberries and strawberries example, if the price of raspberries goes up, we may see a sub the supply curve for strawberries move to the left because people, more producers, self-interested producers will want to supply the dearer product, the, where they're going to generate the higher profit. This is just a study in from the textbook. When trying to conceptualise the impact of a shift to the left of the supply curve, it can be useful to assume the quantities remain unchanged and then ask the following question. What price does the supplier now need to charge to justify supplying that particular quantity? I'll talk about that a little bit more in class because it's quite hard to get your head around in a video. Thank you.